Okay guys, first thing we need to look at. Well, do you remember this little container? This is what I brewed the Lambic cider in. And can you have a look just at the bottom there? Can you see, here we go, there's lots of different layers of funky stuff here. So we've got some yeast cells, but we've also got some trub or trube in there. All I've done so far is I filled up this bit here with some clean water, some distilled water. Um, and what I did was I actually used mineral water, yeah, but obviously I didn't drink it. So I opened my mineral water, topped it up. So this stuff here is totally protected from the outside atmosphere. So this is still alive. So the next thing we need to do, guys, is basically get all of that stuff back into suspension. Okay, I'm gonna tip a little bit of the water, oh shit. Next thing I'm doing, I'm getting all that yeast into suspension, so I'm giving it a good old shake. Yeah, getting it all moved around, okay. Getting everything, can you see that? There's nothing stuck at the bottom, hopefully. Yeah, you can see that, nothing stuck on the bottom. Give it a good old shake. Then I'm going to leave it to stand and I'm going to leave it for maybe about 5-10 minutes. So let's come back and see what's happened then. Good little tip to follow while I'm waiting for my uh, trube whoop, down here, my yeast solution to settle out. I'm sterilizing my container. In this case it's a 2 litre flask and look at that, it's almost full to the top. We've definitely got some steriliser in there. At the moment, I'm using something called uh, Milton. It's a baby steriliser. Um, but you can use whatever steriliser you want. Starsan, whatever. Absolutely not a problem at all. As I say, for this to settle out, it's going to be a good sort of 5-10 minutes. So we've got bags of time to play with. Another fantastic trick here is... I have got a stir bar within inside my solution sterilizing at the moment. I've got another one stuck on the outside. Wherever this one goes, the one on the inside will follow. This will make it much easier for me to pour off the fluid while still retaining my stir bar. Um, have a look at this. There you go. Just in case you didn't think it was a real stir bar. Yep, yeah, look. There you go, oh, if I can grab it with my magnet here, and theoretically I can pull it all the way around to the side where it was before. Yeah? There we go. You can see it's stuck to the side. Definitely one on the inside, one on the outside. That is not going anywhere. Label out, guys. Okay guys, so this has been after about 15 minutes, okay? You can start seeing this white layer forming up here. That is yeast, and we've also got a lot more yeast in suspension here. So we're gonna have to get that over into our flask, okay? Next thing we do, oh, it's out of focus, there we go. Next thing we do, we're gonna pour all of this liquid hopefully some of this as well, into our flask. So, for those of you looking at this picture and seeing there's something in my flask, well, here it is. We got some apple juice, and more importantly, I remembered this time to put the yeast nutrient in. <laughs> anyway, what we need to get, yeah, thumbs up from Big Jono there. We need to get all that yeast in suspension, but leave all the other stuff, all the other trube, the crud, leave that behind. So this is a very, very gentle pour. Um, and you've got to get it right because you don't want all the trube in there. It doesn't make too much of a difference if you're just washing yeast because um, you can then filter it again. But I'm using this as a yeast starter. So I've left behind quite a lot. OK, but don't you worry. All that stuff in suspension in the flask, that will be enough to make a cracking yeast starter. 
So let's have a look and see what we do next. Yep, you've guessed it, we've got it up on my self-build stir plate. And if you want to see a bit zoomed in, check this out. You can even hear in the background how that's going. Yeah, and let me tell you, that bad boy is well underway. Um, and I'm going to leave it about 24 hours and then we'll come back and see how well that's been doing. So this is after 24 hours. Fermentation is well underway and that, guys, is how you make a decent yeast starter.